quite strange doing this, but given the fact that we've got COVID and I'm unable to do a practical session with you, I thought it'd be best that I show you what it is that we're going to be doing this term um, and try and explain and help you with some samples of work of what is expected out of your art and design project. So, lesson one is to review the project, go through the handout and see what we're going to do through the design cycle on your first lesson which is research. Okay so these are the handouts that you will already have in front of you which will explain what it is that we're doing over the next couple of weeks on the project Sweets, Glorious Sweets. These are the research images that you can cut up and use in your research page which will show all the form and elements that I've asked you to annotate about. So task one is to produce a research page which has designs that inspire you. Task two and three we will go over in lessons three and four. Okay, so resources, what do you need for lesson one? Well, obviously, you'll need the handout. So we're going to work through this together. And all the samples that I've put, given, put together for you, including your research. And if you want, you could have a bowl of sweets. So I'll ask the house to get you some. All right, so your list of resources. This project is about exploring re uh, materials and equipment. So your first assignment will be to select from the resources that you have. So you should have at hand some pastels, some pencils, glue stick, paint, scissors, and felt tips. Whatever you can get your hands on, okay? Because what I'm expecting you to do after you've done your research is go through producing a body of work which is exploring all of those resources. So the first thing you're going to do, like I've said, is your research. All right, so this is the first page that I'd like to see. I've done a title here, Sweets, Glorious Sweets. You should have some um, stencils if you want to recreate this. And I've given it a title of research. So from, from your research that you've got, I've selected the three that I like the most. So I've got this collage piece. I labelled it one. I've got a painting of li licorice all sorts, labelled it two. And I've got a picture here of marbles now yes they're not sweet but they have that effect of sweets i've labeled that three so what i'm going to do on this paper is i'm going to annotate why it is that i really like these three pieces of work now remember the last couple of weeks before christmas we were doing work on formal elements so i want you to bring all that language into place and i've already wrote that down on here Okay, line, shape, pattern, form, text, colour, texture and tone. So make sure you write about this when you're doing your annotation. And I'll explain to you why it is that I like these. And before you start, you have got some coloured paper that would be quite nice to make this look really, really colourful before you add on your images. So this is the first thing I'm expecting you to do. I will annotate on here why it is I like this and I want you to produce this research page for me in your first lesson today. So as you can see, I've done the annotation for the three images that I've selected on my research page and now I'm at the point of doing another page which is going to be the start of your ideas. Bearing in mind what makes a really good research page is your use of text annotation and a selection of images along with possibly one of your own drawings so here what I have done which I know that you're all able to do is I've selected an image that I really like I've cut the image in half and on the opposite side I have traced and redrawn the sweets so I'd like you all to do this as the second part of this lesson Bearing in mind, the best way to do that, which I know that um, one of you have already done, is to use a soft pencil on the back of the paper that you're going to transfer the image across. And then place it gently onto the paper. Possibly put some blue tack or sellotape so that it stays in place. And then using a fine pencil, hard pencil, 
just go over the lines very very carefully go over all the lines until you're happy that it's all done have a little peep if you need to and then continue to go over all the lines until the image is transferred over what you think what I think you might need to do is just to go over the lines that I've transferred because it will be quite um, quite soft it won't be as dark as this one so this is the next task that I need you to do in your second part of the lesson feel free to pause this video so that you can then move on at your own pace okay so okay so before we move on I'm going to quickly demonstrate how you do this okay I know you've all done this before but we'll go through it one more time so you're going to pick an image that you want to do all right fold it in half as I have done there cut it in half use scissors because as you can see I tried to tear it in half and it ripped stick one half down Try not to do this in your sketchbook. If you can get another piece of paper, stick it on a piece of paper. Because if you make a mistake, it's not in your sketchbook. And then we can stick this into your sketchbook. Okay, so we're going to put that down. The other half, make sure you put it down so the other half lines up here properly. It's not, and it's the right way around. So like I said before, with this bit, you're going to use a soft pencil anything from a 2B upwards would be the best to use and you're just gonna over the back like I've done with the first one mark off the whole area so it's covered in graphite all right this image doesn't have to be too big just as long as you can show you can do the technique for me and it's part of the research. Okay, so that's plenty, all right? So line that back up. Use a little bit of blue tack if you want or a little bit of sellotape just to hold it into position. We don't want it to move. It will take a few minutes to do this part. So in the little corners, place your blue tack and then position this back into place like so and then what I need you to do is get a hard pencil so this is a 5H and then go over all the lines go all of the little jelly babies jelly beans go over all the jelly beans press them quite hard and go, so that it, it transfers through so I'll progress and I will go over all the little jelly beans and show you when it's finished Okay, so you've just seen me demonstrate how to do that, all right, with the felt tip pens, and this one has just been done with pencil. All right, so that's it for today's lesson. We've done a page of research, hopefully with a little bit of annotation, and we've transferred an image using a photocopy and transfer over the back.
All right, perfect. So, lesson two, I will do a video for you in lesson two, which will be about how to grade, put a grid onto one of the images that you're going to choose and transfer it over and use a, a resource in order to explore different materials and equipment. Okay, so I look forward to seeing your results and to seeing what you do and I'll crack on with the next lesson for you. Alright, take care everybody.